There is some good talent here sitting here now where Seattle's picking. This is not just a guy. Normally in fifth round, you're getting a guy that's like, eh, maybe. <laughs> maybe he can catch on. Not now. We are, we are on the clock, folks. The Denver Broncos pick is in. The Seattle Seahawks are on the clock in the fifth round. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. 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 L O B. L O B. L O B. L O B. You leave us the best, we take the best. That's what happens when you try us in the draft. Don't you test us with these lesser teams in this draft. You wanted this noise. You wanted this noise. With the 153rd selection in the 2022 NFL Draft, your Seattle Seahawks, who can do no wrong in this draft, your Seattle Seahawks select to Reek Oh yeah. Oh yeah, are we gonna like this big? Tariq Woolen. San Texas San Antonio. Small school kid. Six foot three, two hundred and five pounds, thirty-three and five inch long arms. Go, go, gadget, go. Four, two, six, forty. Yeah, no, you heard that right. That wasn't a four, three, six, forty. That's not what I just said. I said four, two, six, forty. That's what I said. Yeah, they build humans that can go that fast. They do, I guess. I didn't know. I know now. Forty-two inch vert. Yeah, not just the speed. Explosion. Explosion. Overpowering. Over the competition. He's a towering. Yeah, it's that good, folks. Amazing value. Tariq, Cohen, Tariq Woolen, who I had in this draft with a third round grade, has slipped all the way into us in the fifth round. And Seattle, again, is carrying forward in the day of what I, I, I banged the drum for. I banged it like John Bottom in 1969. I banged it like Keith Moon in 1971. I banged that drum double time. I said, go best player available in this draft. Do not reach for need. Take the best guy available on your board. Bar none. Let that guide your day. You need players, not specific players. This is specific positions to round some team off that's this close to them competing. And Seattle has let that carry the day on every one of their picks. You cannot like necessarily the Cody Bryant pick versus like and Tariq Woolen over it. But they had him a little higher. Thorpe Award winner. They thought he was a little more pro ready to go. And now they come back. And now cornerback is not a need for you as you arrive in this fifth round. There's not necessarily a reason to select this here. And yet, you make the selection of it because he's just too toolsy. No cornerback has come in with anywhere near these kind of metrics as far as size, speed, explosive quotient go as Tariq Woolen is right now. And you just got him in the fifth round. We have restacked back up the cornerback room with later round picks. We know that Coach Carroll is the cornerback whisperer. We know that about him. And you've just given him two beautiful molds of clay to work with. Somebody was mentioning that he was looking a little dour during this draft, Coach Carroll. I think we're going to see a mighty big smile on that man's face here in the press conference today. Mighty big smile on that man's press conference of the day. They don't build players to go 426, folks. They don't make them like that. And if he's 426, and then he's if he's also 6'3, he's not going to be explosive. He's definitely not going to be explosive as well. There's just no way he could also be that. Oh, yeah, he's also that. How how, how is someone going to be mad at this draft? 
How does someone not love this draft to the moon? We might have just got a, 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 our corner tandem pair for the future, our book and tackles for the future, our next great edge rusher for the future, our number one running back, the now. Let's go. Let's go. What's not to like? Best player available on the board? Consensus best player available on the board, and you took that? Love this draft. Love this draft. Because you don't get a lot of opportunities to get to feel this way about a draft. Savor it right now. Savor it. It don't come down the track like this every other day. It don't. We've had to wait 10 long years to be here. But we're here now. I told you, NFC West. I told you. I warned you day one. I said it's coming. I told you day two. I already told you once it's coming and you weren't listening to me. Well, if you weren't listening to me before, now you're hearing me now. We're coming. This turnaround ain't going to take very long. You've had your time. You've had your moments to relax, to chill, to put your feet up. But now we're walking in the room, knocking your damn feet off the table. Get your feet off the table. This is our house. NFC West is our house. Let's go.